Values of trust really has to emanate from within each and every individual. Development of that trust and that respect in each and every individual can allow us to conquer many problems despite the challenges ahead of us. And despite the human nature for innovation and creativity and more technology that we're going to see, we will be challenged if we do not invest in caring for each other. The biggest challenge facing the caregiving industry is the demographic shifts across the globe. Um, what's happening today is that there is low birth rates in many developed economies. Uh, there is a senior crisis looming in many countries where we have an aging population due to the technological advances of healthcare. People are getting older and what we're finding is high unemployment of the youth who aren't wanting to pursue care services jobs. And so we're challenged to try and figure out how are we going to care for each other. And what we're finding is developing economies with high birth rates and uh, also with high unemployment are starting to look for solutions and find jobs. But yet we've got immigration challenges to help each other. And so I think as we think about ourselves as global citizens, I think that the borders will come down. I think what's happening in Jama Japan and Prime Minister Abe realizing that he has to reach out for help uh, from other economies to try and figure out the crisis of care in his country. The very different way of thinking about the problem of unemployment is about trying to encourage, again, this sort of human potential rather than looking at um, you know, people and other citizens around the world as victims of, of some societal issue, but rather how do we empower the youth to actually become entrepreneurs and create jobs.